What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. So before I start this video off today, we're going to go ahead. I want to show this card off here. Picked it up from Jacob in the Monster Daddy. He had a little fire sale last week. Spotlight Signature Series from Noir. I've always been a fan of these when they came out. This is a Cole Anthony on 99. Good deal. Picked it up. Again, appreciate it. Had to show it off because I don't really show a lot of the pickups I do. All right, on to today's video. So Ray Allen on Instagram calls out and says, hey, I didn't autograph these jerseys. So let's talk about this real quick on to this here. <clears throat> so this account here does belong to Ray Allen. You have to be verified and send all this crazy stuff off to get that little uh, stamp check there from uh, Instagram or even Twitter. So he says a friend of his sent him the pictures of these jerseys that was supposed to be his that he autographed. That they were online for sale. He states, the one thing they got right was it's a signed jersey, but here's what they got wrong. I did not sign it. Uh-oh. Can we get some more athletes out there, you know, who could call this stuff out to help everybody else out there? I mean, look whenever we had the Topps definitive um, thing that went on with the Rays. It was Arizona and Meadows, if I recall right. We all knew those weren't their autographs. They were hashtagged and at signed all over social media. To my knowledge, none of them could answer back. Why? Was it too hard to say, no, that's not my autograph? You know, just things, little simple things like that there show, you know, the player being connected with us, but some, maybe they don't. They just want that money. I don't know. All right, back to this topic here. So there was two different... Um, what do you want to call it, sales out there on this or listings. So the top one was autographed by PAAS. We all know they've had issues in the past, and this just shows more issues coming out now. The bottom one was an eBay listing, and when I searched, I found four real quick that sold. So if you are the buyer of one of these jerseys, you might want to get it your money back, or if you know somebody, they might want to get their money back, too, because Ray Allen's saying that's not his signature on these jerseys. I mean, you can't really get much more onto that than him saying that's not his signature. I don't get with who the other company is here. We switch over to eBay, but any of these companies are out there authenticating. They either have to see the person signing in front of them, or they have to say they have the expertise keyword from yesterday's video, expertise, that that's a real autograph. No idea which way it is on to, because I really didn't read too much into these, and the listings were kind of vague, but heck, when I was scrolling through, I missed that there was uh, serial numbers to their authentication, and they were all different across the board when I showed you the eBay. But, you know, it hits into yesterday's video. Some people either call themselves the expert, then people believe it, you have people who have like, you know, high, I don't know, high influential cliques who deem them as an expert and then everybody follows suit. You know, some places there's no training involved on this stuff. I mean, I got with the grading companies and stuff. There's supposed to be training done and all that. At least there's a check the block for it, okay? But when we start hitting like autographs and, oh, wax sealed and stuff like that there where is that training where that cert certification come from that deems you you know you're good up there it's just everybody's taking word that hey this is it this is our expert we deem them and then it comes back and bites us now with this here i can tell you i never heard of the bottom company the top one like i did i said i know they had problems in the past and they're going to continue with that but just not a good look after yesterday's video at all. And then this here, I I just found this because it sold yesterday, the bottom one. So let me go ahead and take, flip up the uh, eBay, and we'll talk about this real quick. I'm not going to beat a dead horse from yesterday's video. All right, pull that down. All right, so this one here, you can see August 28th, it was sold. There we go. Just remember what ends in 160. So sold yesterday ends in 160. Next one, July 18th ends in 049. July 5th 
ends in 033. And this is all UAAA. Wow. And I had to scroll down to actually find out who that is. Oh, that's not it. They have the wrong list in here because they're saying this is the PAAS. Let me find which one had the UAA on to it here. Nope, it was the original. Boy, they have these listings all messed up, don't they? Okay, United Autograph Authentica Authentication Authority. They spelled that wrong. That's why it messed me up. I've actually done this video now four times because of this word being misspelled. <laughs> Oh, it's authentication. Okay, see, I'm reading it completely wrong. I know, I know. Somebody's going to write in the comments. I'm reading it wrong because I'm seeing this word way too much anymore in authentication, authentication, all kind of stuff. All right, let's get back to what we're doing here. So, again, this one here, 033. Now, this last one's actually PAAS, ends in 923. So, four different jerseys have sold. This one's June 19th, since so June 19th that I've seen real quick. So, according to Rayon saying these are not his autographs, that's four people out there that have a jersey autographed by somebody that's not Ray Allen. Kind of crazy when it comes down to it. Uh, I'll get back to this. I just want to scroll back up. But like I said, anywhere from 89.50, I think it was the last one. It was like 109. That was 107.99. 99, yeah. And like I said, when I looked at it, I thought maybe the jersey just kept reselling and reselling. So it kind of looks like the same pictures all the way across till I see the, the serial number. And I was like, oh, nope, they're all different. Oh, wow. Where do we keep going with this stuff this year? More and more stuff just keeps coming out. you got to be really careful out there. I know we're supposed to always talk about the positive stuff in the hobby, as certain people want us to do. But at the same time frame, you got to bring a type of awareness out there so people know offhand, because these people who bought this jersey don't know it. And maybe this video will reach out to one, maybe hopefully all of them, and they can get their money back. Because, hey, like I said, all you got to do is say Ray Allen saying that's not his uh, signature on to it. And I think you pretty much have a good case on to that. At least be my, my look at it. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer either. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, a little bit of a follow-up to yesterday's video uh, with this here, but just wanted to bring this to everybody's awareness out there. All right, take care. Have a good rest of the week. See you guys later.